their dear YouTube friends. In this video, we'll be looking at another Bubble.io tutorial. So in this particular video, we'll be looking particularly on how to sign up and log in users into their website, into their account basically. So this is going to be a simple, just a walk you guys step by step walking walkthrough uh, tutorial, which I'll be just currently using Bubble throughout the entire process of this video. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this particular choosing to watch this particular video and let's get started. So in order to get started first of all Let's look at this particular page here once we have bubble.io You will be able to come to this particular landing page here. This is some simple the first ever page that you ever come up to when you are able to uh, go to this particular bubble.io.com So let's go. Let's click on create create new app here And of course as, as, as usual we need just need to create a simple uh, the, the name the particulars of this particular uh yeah, just put some anything that's less like randomly uh, can be generated and example here I'm just going to click it so randomly so I'm just going to type something random and I'm just going to create a new app here and And that's all I mean you just need to click on create new app once you have already uh, just fill up all this uh, info here and Next thing you will be going to is directly you'll be going to the project the website itself the bubble the bubble uh, project itself for example uh, this is the the bubble project itself so this is oh yeah you need to close this particular assistant here we don't be needing any assistance it seems it's really easy the next thing is that we would like to have the product the, the card for example log there's a login card and there's a sign up card here so let's first of all let's create a simple sign up card here in order to create a simple sign up card go to shapes here look for the look for the uh, let me just zoom okay that should be good I hope you guys can see it more clearly so I'm going to click on shape here and I'm going to make a simple uh, rectangular tool like this and make sure you need to make it uh, center for example just make it center horizontally and center vertically and that should be good and let's give some style styling to this particular uh, card here by clicking on this let's go to uh, style here since there's no styles have been created let's go and create a new style here so I'll, I'll, I'll just going to name it login and just simple card like this login card okay so now we are since we have login card here i will have to edit the edit the style of this particular login card just by clicking on edit style here so first of all i'll be giving uh, let's can see here this black background styles here so i will already have it flat color and the color i would like to give it a uh, white yeah that's it white should be nice and the next thing is that i would like to give some borders here i'll give like borders of 10 should be good okay and then some shadow here or uh, should be outside shadow and I want to make this horizontal offset to be zero, and vertical is just fine. And blur radius should be. I to give it more, by the way. And I want to reduce the uh, opacity of the box shadow. For example, I want to make it just fifty percent. Should be should be enough. Okay. And there you go. I just made a simple styling to this particular login card here. And next thing we need to go is let's go. Let's go to design here. So this is the design of. I mean, as you can see, this is the the final output of the design which we have just configured in the design uh, styles uh, tab here okay now let's get to the point which is the login and sign up here so first of all we need two particular cards here and uh, for example that should be a sign up card and should be a login card and also a page where it should go once it has been uh, authenticated a user has been successfully has been hot authenticated so let's go and create a simple uh, page here for example uh, let's go and create add a new page here this page i'll say uh, uh let's say uh it's gonna say home yeah that should be good home is the page where we, i would like to have it uh just yeah it's gonna go go here first home is the page where they will, the user will go once they have uh, successfully authenticated for example uh, in this case i'll be giving a text here okay i'm just gonna make the text to be uh, big and make it should be big enough like this be center and should be bold let's see this bold yeah there is so i already give uh, this time we'll say welcome come like this welcome welcome and i'll to give also like a dynamic data but for example there is no uh, particular uh, like how do you say it? Uh, there's no data for the particular user who has been already been uh, uh, successfully logged in. For example, let's say uh, current users here. So we just when you put welcome current users uh, email. So let's say if I were to log in into this page and I've, I've successfully logged in, so I'll be coming to this page. It, it, sh it should say welcome and then my you and then my email here. Okay, so that's the idea of this particular home page here. 
So next is the 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 sign up card here. This is the sign up here. Just gonna make a duplicate of this by the way. And sorry, I need to add a new page here. In this case, I'll put login by the way. So login should be coming from uh, index as well. Okay, that should be good. Okay, as you can see, there's a login page and there's the index page. And let's go and create a, another page called sign up here. So in this this sign up page is where we're gonna clone from uh, uh, index. Yeah, that's it. And there you go. Now we have it login, sign up, home, and index. So index is where we're gonna direct them to either they will they would like to go for login or sign up. So I'm just gonna make a simple button like 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 this. Just gonna make it like this simple. I would say uh, login. Uh, let's gonna make it center first, center horizontally and center vertically. And here I will say uh, sign up. This is the sign up page. Okay. I will say uh, go to go to sign up. Page something like this okay now what i would like to like give this particular uh, button uh, like a workflow for this in this case i would like to give when the click when the element is clicked it should go to a it should go to a page for example navigation go to page and destination is a uh, sign up okay next thing is then i'd like to have another page for login as well so in this case i'm going to place it right in the center so i'm just going to make it like this so here it should say login, login something like that, login page. And once we click on this, it should go to navigation, go to page, login. Okay, should be that should be good. Okay, now we have these two uh, these two buttons that should go either go to login page or sign up page. So let's give it a start with a uh, sign up page here. So let's go to sign up. So in this case, click on sign up. So as you can see, this is just a simple blank uh, card here. This is where we're gonna input, I mean, place the inputs. For example, uh, as you can see, there are many uh, elements here. So we need to look for input and scroll down and look for this particular uh, input element here. Just drag it and drop it right here. And just gonna place it right here. And we're gonna name it email. So this is where the user are gonna uh, input their email. For, I mean, for the first time when they were the, uh, like the first time when they, they were to uh, log in to this particular website here. So next thing is I would like to duplicate it and I would like to name it password. By the way, okay. So password is something it should be like this. By the way, and of course you need to make sure that this is since it's, this is a password you need, you need to give a uh, like a certain uh, condition that password shouldn't be uh, visible. So, but then let's uh, let's let's not uh, let's do it let's not do it now we'll do it later once we have already have this basic of authentication have been made so next thing is give it, i'm going to copy it again and just going to press it right here and i'm going to say uh retype let me just type a uh, retype password like this something like this okay and the next thing is i have to give is a button here should we go to button and just place a simple button like this and we're gonna place it right here okay that's nice and here we're gonna say since this is a sign up page i'm gonna just type sign up like this so sign up should be just enough okay so you can see this is a, just a simple uh, sign up card which we have just made which the design has been done so next thing we need to input is it's the workflow by the way so let's say if a person inputs all these values and they need to sign up by the way so it's only i mean they, they i mean the user only uh, get to go to this particular uh, the following page only if they were to click on sign up here so let's go and uh, do a workflow here double click on sign up button click on start and edit workflow click here to add an action so as you can see this is simply you can just say uh, sign the user up and let's keep the uh, email okay we need to we need to uh, look for the input the name of the input that we have just if we have just uh, uh, we would like to uh, pass the email into the database and as you can see here double click here it says input email 
okay and click on here it says input password and here it says input retype password this is all basically the name of this inputs okay so this is gonna what this is the one that we're gonna use it to pass the uh the, i mean the credentials to the particular uh, database for example email we're gonna say input email and input emails value by the way and password is input passwords input passwords value by the way yeah as simple as it and that's we need to require a password confirmation so which we have just which we have just did here which is the retype password uh, input there and we're going to say input retype passwords value okay that's it that should be good so this is the page that we would we have just did which is to sign up sign the user up and okay so now we have just finished with sign up page here so only when the user signs up the the page they'll be going to a certain page here so what which page they should go is basically they should go to login page so once they have finished their login so we need to go to log, go to a destination is login okay and the other to send is i mean there's nothing much to send but we have just gonna uh, click on uh, login here so this is only when uh, i think there's nothing much here okay so we're just going to put login here so once they have only already click on the sign the user up and of course when when you if you want to check whether a person who have already been uh, signed signed up or not we can actually check in data here so first of all let's go to this let's give it a test here let's go and preview and once we have clicked on preview it should go to this particular sign up page here and yeah let's give it a some waiting time okay there you go now as you can see here is this is a simple uh, input here and all of this are actually working by the way mm, okay so as you can see here, there's nothing happened we can't go to login here because none of these inputs are filled so it is really uh, important to fill all these emails and password so just gonna get a get a simple uh, gonna get a simple uh, temporary email here this is gonna uh, I'll be just pasting it right here and I'm also going to type a simple password right here as well. So as you can see here, I'll be just going to copy this uh, email and just going to place it right here. And the password is I'm going to give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. That's the password. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So I'm just going to click on sign the user up. Okay. Now as you can see, it is currently in login login page by the way so let's gonna, let's gonna save it right here but then we have not done anything we have not done any progress or update on pro and on the login page here so as you can see this is login so let's go, before, before going to login let's check have we ever been uh, i mean have our uh, credentials have already been stored in a, in the database so let's give it a check so this is the user and go to app data so as you can see here there's someone has already registered and this is none other than me myself okay so that is that is me so i think we have successfully made the sign up feature working and next is to work on this particular login picture so simply we can just go and create the same exact thing that we have just made when when, when we did for sign up here so same thing is uh it's going to be a email here okay and also there's going to be a password it's going to place it right in the center gonna send make it center uh, horizontally okay and then gonna, gonna make another duplicate of this and uh, which I'm gonna say uh, yeah password okay there you go and next is of course the I mean we won't be needing another retype password because this is just a login so instead we're gonna have another button here so the same button and I'm gonna expand this button like this and I'm gonna type login okay there you go so login Okay, so we need to we need to give the workflow for login by the way. So start and edit the workflow. I'll click here to edit. So, so so this is even simpler. You just need to click on lock the user in, and email is, uh, what should the email be? It should be the input which I just created. Input email value, and the password is, input passwords value. Simple, and stay logged in is should be yes. Remember the email. Let's uh. We can actually choose yes or no, but we're just gonna not gonna do anything here because it's just simple. Uh, simply, I mean, it's not gonna do. So there's, not, there's nothing gonna do. Uh, there's, there's no difference. 
and this is going to be a, just a simple uh, learning process by the way the next thing is what happens once they have logged in logged into their account so they need to need to go somewhere right so same thing navigation go to page let's this time they'll go to their home page because once they have already signed up as a user now they are considered uh, a registered user so they get to go to their home page and and where and, then, and that's where they will be seeing their uh their dynamic welcome home page okay so now let's give it a try uh now let's before let's go to the main page here let's go to the main main page something like this okay this is the first page which you have just created so this is the login so i mean the, this is the web i mean this is the link as you can see the links that come after this should be empty which means it's index page okay now let's go to sign up first but then we have already signed signed up already but we can go to go to login page okay so we can just copy the exact uh, email that we have just used for the particular uh, email just now for the for particular account just now and the password is going to be the same i'm going to type one two three four five six okay it's going to click on login okay currently i'm being logged in and there you go i'm currently at home in the home page and this is the dynamic home page that which welcomes me as a user with my email showing i mean showing the the email that i own which is which is this particular email that i've just copied from here and there you go guys so this is the simple the most simple explanation and the most simple uh, walkthrough of how how to use how to utilize this particular uh, login sign up feature in your bubble.io project so this will be really helpful for your project since this is the most uh, the mo utmost important part of your whole project because it you need to authenticate users into your account and it has to be safe at the same time so thank you guys for watching this entire video till end and hope we'll be meeting in another bubble.io tutorial in the coming uh, episodes so see you then bye